Hello, my name is Jaden from XLR Security, and today I want to show you a very neat tool uh, which will allow you to basically simulate your Wi-Fi access points in a building, and it's completely a free tool. There's no subscription or licensing cost. So what is this interesting tool? What is this free tool? Well, it's created by a company called Ruji, which sells networking equipment. And in order to access the tool, we just need to go to the Ruji cloud on Google. Okay, go to the Ruji networks, log into the Ruji cloud. And at this point, you can either create an account if you don't have one or log in if you already have a Ruji account. It's completely free. Again, there's no cost or anything to this. So I'm going to go ahead and log into my account. Okay. And now that we're in, we want to click on the AI heat map at the top corner. And this is basically what allows you to plan your Wi-Fi projects. So I already have a project here called uh, farmhouse test. I'm going to go into editing the heat map and you can see I've already put down an access point in the middle of the screen. And if I move, this access point around, we are seeing a simulation of how the Wi-Fi signal strength is going to look around the house. So in this case, green is stronger than minus 50 dBm and the red and the orange is worse than negative 75 dBm. So for example, if we were to put the Wi-Fi in the master bedroom, well then we would have relatively poor signal in the dining room as well as the garage. And if we wanted to, we can even throw down another access point simply by just grabbing it on the side and then putting it down. Now we can see that we have great signal all over the house. So let me show you um, how this works from scratch. So we're going to click on create BOM, which is like bill of materials. And we're going to enter a name for our project. So in this case, I'm going to show you how it would look like for our office. I'm going to call it XLR security and go to office, click OK. Then we're going to upload our floor plan. So this can be uh, like a PNG or a JPEG file or a PDF or a CAD file. So let's go ahead and upload XLR security. Uh, we have two floors here, so I'm going to upload floor one first. Okay, wait for it to upload. Call it ground floor. Okay. Perfect. So when we import our drawing of the building, okay, when we import our floor plans, we need to draw the scale. So in this case, I know the length of this point from here to here is 21 feet and six inches. So that's 21 and a half feet. And we want to leave wall recognition enabled and watch what happens when I click OK. Perfect. So what this has done is it has automatically detected where the walls are in the floor plan. So what we can do then is we can go over to our right side and we can drag and drop one of the access points into our floor plan. And this is again simulating how the Wi-Fi coverage would be. So obviously in the office area, we have a pretty good signal, but over down in the warehouse, we are really lacking the signal. Um, and by the way, these walls can be adjusted. So if you have a problem, you can just move the wall here if it wasn't accurate. Now, if there was no wall there, we'd have obviously have much better signal. You can also change the thickness of the wall on the upper right corner. So in this case, it's simulating a medium wall, which is a brick wall with these dimensions. I think that's fairly accurate. Um, but here over in the washroom, it's also simulating a medium wall. But I believe this is actually a thin wall. So I'm going to click on thin and thin over here. Doesn't really affect the signal that much, but you can definitely customize it. If we want to add a second floor, we just go to the top left here where it says add floor. We add the second floor and then we upload the floor plan. Right. So it's going to give us some choices. So it actually detected that 
this part of the floor plan is our second floor. So I'm going to click OK on this, enter a floor name. So this is uh, upper office. Floor two. OK, perfect. So here is our second floor. And again, we need to calculate the length of this area. So I know that again, this. Oops. So between here and here is 21.5 feet. And this is quite a small space, so I'm pretty sure that one access point will cover it. So if we put an access point here, everything is green and we're perfectly fine. Awesome. But what if we had a larger facility? So instead of just a simple 1500 square foot office, what if we had a large 20,000 or 50,000 square foot factory? Let me show you how that works. So we're going to go back to the home page and we're going to create another project. So this is Montreal factory test. All right. And I'm going to call this is a factory. Okay, perfect. Then again, we're going to upload our floor plan. So we upload the floor plan. The floor plan is here. We'll call it ground floor. Okay, excellent. And then we need to again draw the scale. So thankfully that again, this drawing has all the scales already input. So we're going to click here and go over to here. This is 30 feet. And because this is a factory, uh, the floor is going to be a lot higher. So I'm going to say this is about 30 feet. So we enter 30 feet here and let the software do its thing. Great. So now we have the floor plan drawn, but actually some of this floor plan is not exactly how it is in real life. So if we click hide the wall, we can see that this part of the factory is actually outdoors, right? And if we click here again, it thinks there's a wall here, but there's not. So of course, it's not always going to get it perfect depending on your drawing. So we just need to click on this wall and then delete it. And then this wall, we can make it a bit shorter. And I'm just going to clean up some of the walls on this drawing that were not quite 100% accurate. All right, perfect. So this looks a lot better. This is a lot more accurate. As we can see, it properly resembles the building. It didn't take me that long, maybe just two or three minutes to clear up all that. Now um, we could manually again drag and drop the access points like how we've been doing and see how they perform. But if you want to do this in a faster way, you can use um, the Ruji AI auto AP placement. So there's two options when you click auto AP placement. Uh, you can select the models for each access point as well as the client load, which is basically how many users there will be uh, in that area. In this case, I'm just going to choose quick placement and we'll see what the software chooses for us. Okay, so now it is calculating where it needs to put the access points and it's going to go through a couple iterations. It's going to try out different configurations and give you the best one. And if you're happy with how it looks, um, you can uh, go ahead and end the placement early at the bottom right. So I'm going to go ahead and click end. Now it has given me 28 access points, but I don't want to use this model of access point. Um, so I'm going to change replace and I'm going to choose the RAP 2260 because this is the one that we have. Basically the same coverage. And we're going to go ahead and apply this. So we click apply, we click OK. This is what the software suggests. It is, uh, I would say, maybe a little bit too much on the outside. Obviously, we don't need access points outside, so we can go ahead and delete those. Okay. And let's show the walls again. 
Okay, I think this is very fair of an assessment. And obviously this is not gonna be 100% accurate to real life, um, but this is just a very quick, fast and easy tool to give you an idea of how many access points you may need for a given location. And with this estimate, you can start working on, you know, giving a price to the customer and let them know like, you're probably gonna need between 20 and 25 access points. It just gives you a very fast starting place. And again, this is completely free. Uh, there's no subscription or anything. And this is with the Ruji AI heat map. All right, so that's everything I wanted to share about the Ruji AI heat map. It's a pretty neat feature, and I hope that somebody will find it useful. I definitely found it quite interesting and useful because as long as you have the floor plan for a building, you don't even have to actually visit the location. You can just get a very quick idea of how many access points you're going to need to cover a given location. Anyway, that's it for this video. Be sure to leave a like or subscribe if you found it helpful. And I hope to see you in the next video.